What's up you guys, this is Reed from TriviaMaker.com and today I'm gonna to show you how to create a trivia or multiple choice style game here at TriviaMaker.com. Once we open up Trivia Maker, we're gonna go here, launch Trivia Maker, and this is gonna bring up our game creation. And this is the dashboard, and so if we wanna create a multiple choice or a trivia style game, we can either click on Create Game right here, or we can go on Create New Quiz over here. So for that, then we'll select Trivia, and then we have different styles or themes. So this is the standard one. Um, we have the Christmas one, the Valentine's one, Easter, fall. These are just kind of get you going, um, but maybe just go with the standard. If you don't like it and if you have a premium account, then you can create your own theme in the next page. And so we'll click next. And from here, we can go ahead and give our game a name. And so we'll just call this Trivia One, right? And then we have a place to put in a description some way to describe our game, something that might help us remember why we made it, or to let others know what this game is all about. Um, and then you have these two toggles, which is discoverable and downloadable. And let me explain what these are. Um, discoverable is basically making your game open to the public, meaning that on our public list of games, they will see your game listed there, they can search for it, they can find it, and they can play it, right? Um, but then downloadable is giving even more permission to where not only can they now find your game, but they can actually take your game and duplicate it and make a copy for themselves that they can edit. And when they edit their copy, it's not gonna affect your game, and edits you make after that aren't gonna affect their game. So it's basically taking a copy of a point in time of your game, kind of like using your game as a template is what it will be. And so by default, those are turned off. You could turn them on if you want to, but for this, we'll leave them off. All right, so now here we have our preview screen or our edit screen, and this is going to let us add in the content and make the customizations that we want. Just going through what you're seeing here, this is how you could edit the name. You can add questions kind of right there, but you can also do it below. You can click play the game to launch it. You can share it here. You can also share it here, or you can copy the URL in the address bar and send that as well. Um, you can add it to a collection right here. A collection is basically just kind of like, almost like a playlist of your games where you take all of them of a certain style and put them almost in a folder. Um, so you can add them to a collection, share it, you can clone it, which is taking the game that you've made and making a duplicated copy in case you wanted two very similar versions of the same game, maybe one's for one classroom, one's for another classroom, and you wanna change it a little bit for one without messing up the other one, you might copy it there. And then the other option is to print it, so you can print out all your questions and answers in case you wanted to have some cue cards, or if you're sharing your game, you want to have all of the answers in front of you, like on a printed out section, um, so that way you can glance and know right where the answers are. So you can print it right there as well. And then you can delete the game. So moving down, we have our content, and this is where we can begin to add in our questions. It starts out with a question right here, so we'll just click this edit button right there, and we'll just go with a simple question. We'll go with, what is the state bird of California, All right? And so we're gonna go with four answers. Um, if you have a premium account, you have up to four answers that you can do. If you don't have a premium, then it's scaled back a little bit. So um, we'll go four answers, and this is how we tell which one is the correct answer. So we'll go here, and we'll just say quail, right? And we'll go down here, and we'll go falcon. We'll go here, and we'll go eagle. And then here, we'll say robin, right? And so if one of these was correct, I can change it. Um, but I'll just hit quail, because that's our state bird here in California. Um, and then I can insert some pictures if I want to. So this further explanation, what this is, is after you have given the answer, somebody has guessed it, then you now have the option to explain a little bit more based on what everybody just saw. And so I'm not sure, maybe we'll, let's just go and we'll go on like, we'll go on um, Wikipedia and we'll find some content just to throw in here, just for the sake of this. Right, quail wiki. So I'm just gonna copy some text here um, and we'll just throw this in to our further explanation. I mean, you're gonna have your own content right here. Um, and then I'm going to paste that. So we have that. Then I'll add in a photo, but let's go ahead and we'll save this image. Let's open this up so we get the larger image. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna save this image. So we have this quail image. And then I'm gonna go back here and I'm going to add this image into our explained answer. 
brown quail. I'm going to upload it. I'm going to give it just a few seconds to upload. Add that in there. We see that it's all good. I could delete it if I want to, but I'm going to go ahead and save it. And let's say I even wanted to um, put something like just for the state of California. Let me go here and I'll go back on Wikipedia and I'll just type in This is how I could put in that same folder. And for this, I could also do a YouTube video, but I'm just gonna put this photo in here. So I'm gonna put the California flag right there. Upload that image, I can see that it's there, it's uploaded. Um, so now I'm gonna save this question. And then I'll just add like one or two more questions. Um, you could add a bunch of questions with a spreadsheet. So if you prefer to add it with a spreadsheet, you click that, then you download our template, put yours in, and then you come back here and you upload the CSV file, and then it will populate all of those questions and answers that you put into that CSV file into right here. But for this, I'm just gonna add one more question. I'm gonna say, what is the best football team ever? Right, totally unbiased. And I'm gonna go with, give us four answers. I'm gonna say, is it the Steelers? No. Is it the Seahawks? Definitely not. Is it the Broncos? Meh. Or is it the 49ers? <laughs> We're here in California, so of course you gotta like the Niners, right? Um, so I'm gonna say that it is the 49ers. Um, and I could put in a photo there if I wanted to, but we'll just go like this. So this is kind of a silly question. So we'll save that. And then what we'll do is after we have saved this, we can go ahead and make sure that we have any other customizations that we want. So we could change the colors. I'm not gonna go through how to change the colors and the logo and the background of the song in this video. There's a whole separate video. Just look in the tutorials for customizations in a game, and then you'll see how to do that. Um, and then we'll go ahead and we'll just make sure that we're playing with the scoreboard and that we want like three teams. That's cool. Um, again, you could also add up to like 50 teams and use a CSV to put in all those names and populate it. We're just gonna go with three right here. So I'm gonna make sure we save that. Then I go back up here and I'm going to hit play. So when we go to play it, we have to choose how are we going to display this game. Um, the first one is the most basic, which is just the basic mirrored image. What we see is what they see, and it uh, works pretty good, especially for sharing your screen and things like that. It's the simplest way to do it. Um, the other way is using the controller and the presenter, and we have tutorials on that, but it's basically you have two devices, and one is the presenter's device, the controller, to where they can see all the answers, and they know where they are, but, and then on another screen or another tab, they have the presenter device, which is showing the audience where they don't see the answer. So it's a cool thing, um, but we have other tutorials on that. And then of course, casting to a TV app, like an Apple TV, Amazon Fire Stick, or Fire Cube, or Android TV. And then you have this fourth option, which is a solo trivia mode. Um, I'm actually gonna show you guys that one first, and then we'll come back to this. So solo trivia is something that's only available for this trivia style multiple choice games. And what this is, it's a way for people to play without a host. So it's a way that they can log on, they can play this game, you can share them a quick link, and they can just go through the questions and see how many they get right, and they can screenshot their score and send it back to you or something like that. So this is what solo mode looks like. Here in this option, you have the ability as setting up the game to shuffle the questions, shuffle the answers, throw a timer on there if you want to. You can do in minutes and seconds, turn that off. And then you can also customize the results. And so let's say that you're coming up with your own titles where if you get 100% on my quiz, then your title is going to be, you know, Grand Master exclamation point. And so you can change the way that it looks based on whatever score that they get. So let's go ahead and let's just play this. Let's see what this looks like. And so we'll go ahead, are we ready to play? Yes, and I'm gonna full screen this just so you guys can see it. Um, so here we are, this is us playing on our own. Nobody's hosting it for us. This is solo mode, something that you might just share with a friend. Um, and it's gonna not give them the ability to give points to teams or do sound effects or anything like that. It's basically the, the stripped down 
version of the game that you would send to somebody that doesn't have all the hosting controls. So I would go through and I think, okay, state bird of California. If I wanna expand this image, I can click that, go back down right there. Or I can say, I think it's the Falcon. And it's like, dang it, that was wrong, right? So I didn't get a chance to answer that one. What is the best football team ever? 49ers. Yes, all right. At least I got one out of two. So my results are good. I didn't make it up to Grandmaster, but I got good. So that is how you do the solo trivia. But more than likely, you're gonna be sharing this game either on stage or in a virtual meeting or with students. And so what you would do is you just click on this play and then you would click basic, just this device. So here we are, it launches. We have a little fun theme music that people can hear. And just a little word of advice, if you're sharing this through something like Zoom, if you want them to really hear the sound effects and the background music, then you have to, in Zoom, click share computer sound, right? Uh, if not, then they're just gonna kinda hear what is reverberating through your microphone coming out of your speakers. And it's not great. So if you want them to hear the cr clean, crystal clear sound in Zoom, make sure you click that button which says share computer sound. All right, so we had that sound effect. We can play it right here to play that song or we can mute it. We can use the applause or we can mute that or we can play the, the sad sound in case just for fun interaction with people that are taking, that we're leading through this game. Then we have some fun emojis and we're gonna be adding a bunch more fun options there as well. So in order to begin the game, I can just click anywhere in here or I can click the forward button right there. So I'm just gonna click right here. Um, so here we go, we're bringing it up like this. Okay, everybody, everybody that's in the team one, we're gonna give you guys the first, you know, and then you might run it like this. You go team one gets a question, team two gets a question, team three, and just go down the like that. So we'll start with team one. Team one, what is the state bird of California? And I can click on here, or I could click the forward, but we'll just click right here. And then it brings up their four choices. And so let's say we say team one, what's the answer? And team one comes back and they say, we think that it's the eagle. Uh -huh. And it's like, boom, that was wrong. So now the question is only worth 75 points instead of 100. Um, so let's say the next team we give to team two. Team two, what is the state bird of California? And they say B, quail. It's like, yep, you're right. So now we select team. Team two gets 75 points, right? And then you maybe give team two their own question or you move on to team three. Um, there's other ways to do this. People can type in the chat. People can, you can use the polling feature in Zoom or in Microsoft Teams, things like that, to actually set up a poll that runs alongside of this game and so people could actually be interacting with their devices. We'll have a separate tutorial about using the poll feature, but for now, you just find a way for them to answer and if they get it right, give them the points, and if they don't, then you mark it wrong and either give them another chance or go to the next team. So let's say they just got it right and we want to bring up that additional explanation. We click on this little question mark right here and so it brings up this kind of dual view and you could expand each one if you want to or shrink them down. Um, so that is basically bringing up the further explanation with a photo. So let's go on and we'll go to the next question. So I can just click here and that'll bring up the next question. What is the best football team ever? And the answer is team three says the Seahawks to which you say boo, right? They are not the best. And then somebody on team one says 49ers and you give them the points, right? So that is how you run a quiz and you get to the very end and right now it's tied. So let's say you want to give somebody else a little extra points, click that, give them some points. That is how you run a trivia game. When you get to the end, you can show them their congratulatory score. Congratulations, team two, you have just won with 175 points. Um, so guys, that is it. That is how you create a multiple choice or a trivia style game. If you have any questions, you can go ahead and send us an email at support at triviamaker.com or you can go on our website and fill out a ticket and kind of see the other tickets that have been answered and maybe you can answer your question that way or you can check out our other tutorials and see if maybe we've answered your question in a tutorial. All right guys, hope you enjoyed it. Thank you.